Dubois that was strong, but away comes Finch. Finch, who is a threat, actually. Sonny Finch. Finch. It's a good run. He's gone down, and that's a penalty. Right in front of the referee, and in just the fifth minute, Finch wins the spot kick. Well, Finch won the penalty, and he slots home the penalty as well, and Middlesbrough lead within the first five minutes at Carrington. Sonny Finch makes it United nil. Middlesbrough won. Toby Menem. Mbwala up the line. Opportunity here for Gunno. And he wins a free kick. Yeah, getting shot top there. Linesman's right on top of it. Couldn't have been any closer, could he? The almost, <laughs> almost got tackled as well. He's not going to get away with that. Referee wants a well. It's a, it's a very early yellow, you have to say. But that's Beals in the book. You can see Beals calling for it in the centre. And it's headed in. Well, that's disappointing from a United point of view. It's right in the centre of the goal. A powerful header. And now United in trouble, two down after 20 minutes. Gone then, going down the right hand side. United, Delhi. Gone. Menu. Gone gets to the byline, does well, and that should be, and it is, a goal back for Manchester United. Murray coming in at that far post, and you felt it was important. United got the next goal and got it quickly, and that's exactly what they've done. But straight from the kickoff, Middlesbrough restore their two-goal advantage. And, well, you are vulnerable, aren't you, when you've just scored? And stopped the skipper of Middlesbrough in a flash has restored their two goal lead 3 1. And United will be so, so disappointed with that. Uh, Ogone, who's done as well as anybody in the United shirt. Oh, yeah, Dali, taken out. We oh, felt that challenge, yeah, absolutely. And again, a card is going to come out here. And it's red. Because it's his second yellow, and now the game has changed again. What a 25 minutes we've had here. Second yellow. Ogone again down the right hand side. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. It's a wild challenge. It really is. Lindo came across. He didn't get the ball. Penalty. What a game this is. Ainor Kett then steps up and scores into the top corner. Wonderful penalty kick. No goalkeeper is going to save that. No, power and height as well. It's not much to go on uh, knock it in the early stages of this game, but that's a fantastic hit. As you say, no keeper would have saved that. United two, Middlesbrough three. We haven't had half an hour yet. Again, you can see fairly clearly now the wind has got up again. And it's headed back towards Camboala. And surely, oh, it's blocked by his own player. Oh dear, can't believe that. It was thrashed towards goal by Menu, and it's actually blocked by his own player. Gerardo. Nice through ball that is as well to Menu. Strong play. Gets to the byline, a cute angle. And it's smuggled behind for a corner. And you can see some of those players celebrating the fact. They're like those old Italian defenders, aren't they? Celebrating this tackle, celebrating blocks. In comes the corner this time, headed on, 3-3. And Manchester United have come back from the dead several times in this game. And can they now go on and get a winner? 3-3 with 10 to go. Kobe Mainu the scorer. One more chance, perhaps, driven in towards the near post. Keeper missed it. Oh, and he avoided an own goal. Simpson facing his own net. How has that not gone in? It's gone over the top. It turns out to be a brilliant bit of defending from Simpson, but he very, very nearly shinned it into his own net. Travis, a game that will have had a bit of everything for the fans watching from home, but obviously from your perspective, how are you assessing that one? I didn't really enjoy watching it, if I'm honest. Um, credit to Middlesbrough. They, they put a real shift in. They scored three goals. Deservedly got ahead in the game. 
uh, and then they, they thoroughly deserve the point that they've got um, for te with 10 men for so long and we weren't good enough to, uh, to break them down and didn't really play with any energy or, or quality today for the, for the main part. But it's not always easy playing against 10 men, but when you got that goal with 10 minutes left, yeah. did you think that you, maybe that was the chance to go well, on and you, grab all three? We'd go and like kick on again there, wouldn't you? But it wasn't to be today. And I think the last 10, mem 10 minutes was just a sort of extension of the first 80, if I'm honest. So, uh, yeah, we weren't good enough today. There's, there's loads we've got to do better. Um, obviously, a lot of boys didn't play who, who are away internationally and, and they've done very well in recent weeks. So it's a, it's a little bit of a... Uh, a carrot to these lads to go we've we got to do better we've got to b do better without those lads playing and it's as simple as that it's a, it's a difficult industry um, it is a competitive industry and we missed quality wise some of the boys that didn't play today and that's that shouldn't happen